Hi, this is Stephen Rosie, PJ Professional from Glenbervie Golf Club, and welcome to the Return of the Lockdown Diaries, Volume 4. Now, in today's edition, I'm going to help you to control your ball flight, both in terms of how straight the ball starts, but also the curvature on the ball, and how I'm going to do this with a household item is I'm going to help you to understand how to control the club face with a simple screwdriver. So stay tuned to find out how, and remember, if you uh, want more content, please do whatever you need to do underneath here, like, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for the drill. So I've come outside here, mainly to escape the dancing that's going on in the background uh, here. But what I want to show you here is, is how the screwdriver can help us to control the club face. Club face control, vitally important because basically the ball bounces off that club face, in the direction where the face points. Maybe not just as simple as that, but for purposes here, we can think of it that way. So the face will send it in a direction. Now, it will also, the, the, the face's relationship to the path that the club is moving on, without getting too embroiled in this, will uh, impart the spin on the ball. So, you know, if we have a open club face to the path, the ball will curve to the right. If we have a face that's closed to the path, the ball will curve to the left. So, club face control, vitally important for starting direction and curvature. What we're looking at here really is the rotation of the club face around about the long axis of the shaft. Now, from what we said earlier there, the more rotation we have, the harder it will be to time that rotation and to get that club face back to square at impact. So what we want to really do and what I'd like you to pay attention to is perhaps if you have excessive curvature either to the right or to the left, you take a little bit of what I'm going to show you with the screwdriver here and uh, you, you try and apply it in your own particular context. So stay tuned and we'll show you how we're going to do that. So the screwdriver can help us to understand how the lead wrist works in the swing. Now if I just, if you imagine popping that screwdriver into the screw there, now if I go to a clockwise fashion, I think that tightens a screw doesn't it? So if you imagine on the way back, on the back swing we would have a little bit of clockwise rotation about the long axis and then as we would get into the downswing we would have a little bit of anti-clockwise rotation, we would loosen the screw. Now, what I see a lot of is either excessive opening and then it never quite gets back, so we tighten it up to such an extent it won't loosen, or maybe not quite so prevalent, we see no tightening on the way back and then it loosens on the way down. But I think the majority of people I see tend to overwork that on the way back. Now what does that impact on the golf club? Well when I move that golf club and I start to swing that club back, what you would tend to see would be the toe would point to the ground there. So I've got too much rotation in the wrist here. The toe of the club points straight down. The difficulty now is going to be getting that club back down, getting the club face square to the path to give you the proper ball flight that you're after. Uh, as well. So, what I'd like you to do is just those two movements, a little bit on the way back, a few degrees on the way back, and maybe a few more degrees on the way down. Now what I've done is I've popped a small screwdriver in the butt end of my club here, which will allow me to then make that back swing with just very small rotation. So you'll see top of the swing now, the Oh, the club doesn't point straight to the ground. It's kind of, if you imagine the leading edge here is almost parallel to my forearm. As I'm going to start down now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to impart a little bit of that twisting and the anti-clockwise twisting as if we were going to loosen the screw. It just so happens it's at a slightly different angle, but all it is is that motion there. Now, if you have curvature to the left, you maybe don't want to overdo that, but if you have curvature to the right, I would say you want to do that as much as you possibly can. So, 
simple screwdriver two motions you can pop that into the shaft of the club and it will give you just a little bit more of an idea of uh, how the wrist particularly the left wrist should put a little bit of twist or a little bit of torque along the axis of the shaft as well so there we are folks thanks for uh, tuning in hopefully helping you control the club face a little bit more with a screwdriver if you like what you've seen remember to subscribe underneath this is Stephen Rosie, PGA Professional Glen Berwick Golf Club signing off from the Lockdown Diaries uh, return off volume 4 and we look forward to seeing everybody uh, back at Glen Berwick before too long